everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have my Christmas house tour to share with you guys, so if you guys are interested, then just keep on watching. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free, so please click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. I do have a few videos coming up, so trust me, you don't want to miss out. With that being said, let's move on to the house tour. I guess we'll just start with the pillows. I just have some red and green and even some gold pillows for my couch. As you can see. And I have some throw blankets as well. And this guy is new. I got him a couple of weeks ago from I think Marshalls or TJ Maxx. I did make a video about him. Uh, that is actually on my TikTok, so make sure to check my TikTok out. I upload more regularly on TikTok and on YouTube Shorts, so make sure to check those videos out. He is one giant Squishmallow, and I got him for, I think, about 30 bucks, which was great. He's super soft and plush, and a great addition to my Christmas decor. Then, when we come down here, we have the coffee table. This is my Christmas cuppy for the coffee table, I just kept it simple. I have a little Christmas candle here, hot cocoa from Bath and Body Works. And then I have Santa and some candy canes. And I do have like a glow cube where his uh, fluffy hair, or, or I guess that's his hair. But I will turn that on at night when I have all the lights uh, fully on because in the daytime you can't really see the glow cube, but that's there. And then I have this little tray, it says for Santa, and I wanted to find like a fake milk and cookie to put on here, but then I saw this, you know, and I could not find um, a fake cookie anywhere. I don't know why that's so difficult to find. Um, I did find some milk jugs, like fake milk jugs and stuff, but anyways, um, I did see this and I thought this was even cuter. I thought this would be perfect for like a tiered tray or something, but then just ended up being placed right there and I thought it was perfect. And I guess Santa could use something different other than milk and cookies, even though those are his favorite, you know, just, just a, a different type of uh, sweet treat. And then let's just go to this wall right here. I have some garland and all of these little extra Christmas ornaments that I just put on the side there. And these little Christmas cutouts, which were from Dollar Tree a long time ago. And by the way, if you have any questions about where anything is from, please uh, feel free to leave a comment and I will reply to you as soon as possible. It's just things that I've accumulated over the years. And please ignore that, that right there. I don't, <laughs> I could not find an extension cord and I swear I saw one last night and I have no idea where all those extension cords went. So for now, just for the purpose of this video, um, the, just, just ignore that, yeah, anyways. But if you're wondering, that is connected to my little Mickey planters right here. These I believe I got from either Lowe's, I think Lowe's actually, Lowe's or Home Depot, but I'm pretty sure it's from Lowe's. And I just have a Christmas scene up to make it look extra cozy and my little Santa hat on top because even the TV had to be dressed for, you know, Christmas. And then we have this little advent calendar right there. Each day actually has a little note that I wrote, like a little poem that I wrote for my husband. And it's on this like pretty glittery paper. It alternates between gold and silver. And then I have this Merry Christmas sign, um, which are actually like individual blocks. That's actually really cool. So that's that. And some nutcrackers guarding the Merry Christmas sign, of course. And some of these cute plush friends in the sleigh. Really cute. And of course I just have some random ornaments scattered here and there and fairy lights. And then some garland and then I have some Mickey lights. They actually sing. Um, they are from Home Depot or Lowe's as well. It's like a projection actually. So the mouths move when they sing. Really, really cool. And then I have these big Christmas light, I guess plushies is what you would 
call them technically. These were from Walmart. And then of course we have the nativity scene. This one I believe was from Walmart as well. And then over here we have the Christmas tree. The main Christmas tree I should say. Because I did add one, possibly two new Christmas trees this year. So I have all of my favorite picks and sticks and ornaments in here. I love the elf feet hanging out. And then some fake presents at the bottom. You can see Iron Man guarding the presents right there. It's actually an ornament and he is so heavy. He's probably heavier than the whole tree, so I have to keep him there. Otherwise he'll just bring the tree down. That is actually a Hallmark ornament, but um, it, I've never had a Hallmark ornament be that heavy. It's really well made and I really like it. It's just super heavy, but I like him guarding the presents. And then I of course have my special ornaments. Each year my husband and I get a new ornament to show how many years we celebrated Christmases together. And I write the year on them. So this one was the 2020 year ornament. And this year, I got this guy. 2023. So the goal is to, you know, down the line, just have a Christmas tree full of these special ornaments to remind us of all of the Christmases we spent together. Just a little Christmas tradition. And then over here, we have my Christmas wreath that I made. Um, we actually made it together on this channel a couple years ago. I have that video in my Christmas playlist if you want to check that out. Really easy. Everything was from Dollar Tree. And I have some um, garland here. And don't mind the mug collection. Maybe one day I'll have enough Christmas mugs to have all on display during Christmas, but these are all of my mugs proudly displayed. And down here, some more random ornaments. And then when we go over here, we have Mrs. Claus's bakery and gift shop. This is the countdown. That countdown is way off. I think we're less than 10 days away from Christmas now. <sighs> I'm filming this so late. I'm so sorry. I was supposed to film this like at the beginning of this month and I don't know. I just procrastinated. Ugh. And before you know it, it's like it's almost Christmas. It's just crazy how fast the days go. But I do have two vases on either side with some picks and some of these cute mugs right here. Really, really adorable. And then a Mickey mug up there. This sign is actually new. I got it from Hobby Lobby. And cute little marshmallow s'mores mini mugs. And then of course I have some little mini candles, which I don't plan on lighting but I thought they were cute. And then when we come down here, we have some poinsettias and my mini Christmas tree. This tree has been with me for I don't even know how many years. I just remember having this since I was a little kid and it even came with me to college and everything. This was my first Christmas tree, I would say. And it has all of these old <laughs> ornaments that I tried to keep safe as much as possible, at least. And I have these little swirly desserts. And at the bottom of the Christmas tree, these are all empty, but <laughs> I needed more, just more at the bottom, you know? These presents were just not big enough, so I found all of my Majuri boxes. And I did get some Majuri goodies if you want me to share that, let me know. I went a little crazy during Black Friday, so that video may or may not be coming up soon. And then down below, just have some extra Christmas flowers and ornaments. 
And then here again, I have those same lights as I did on the mantle. And then for the lighting, I just wrapped some ornaments with some decorative twine. I made it like a little ornament chandelier. And then we have the table setting. We have some bows on the back of each of the chairs. And then the main two chairs got an extra bow, which I will show you. These are the place settings. And then I folded the napkins into little Christmas trees. Really easy to do, but it just adds that extra something. And typically, you know, if guests were to come over, I would just stand them up. Like so. I think I should just do them. That for all of them. I think I gave up because one of them just refused to stand up, but... And then we have the tiered tray. We have a little Santa Claus mailbox and a nutcracker guarding it. And this little elf guy trying to break in. And his friend is down here. And I didn't really have many Christmas mugs, as you can see. I just used any mug that was red or white. <laughs> so as you can see, there's Snow White right here. There's Mickey right there. But it works, it's fine. Just use what you have, right? This is how the other two um, end table chairs look like with the green. I wish I had more of this green ribbon. It's from Dollar Tree and I cannot find it anymore. I don't know what happened. Anyways, so we come over here. This is the back of the tear tray. Just have another Christmas candle with a Christmas holder. And another candle and some of these little bells, which I got from our New York Christmas trip, which was really fun. And I don't know, seeing these little bells, it just reminds me of our trip. We have a little snow globe and the nutcracker. Then for the stairs, we have Mickey, which I also got from New York, from the Times Square Disney store, actually. And some garland. And then I have this Mickey lamppost, which I got from Lowe's, I believe. And the lights on this are so cool. They kind of wave in and out. And I have a big old fake present and a Mickey rug. Those are my husband's slippers, but they fit the aesthetic, so I allowed them to be there. <laughs> and we have this little mailbox. And it actually opens. It's really cool. I got it from Michael's. Uh, a year or two ago. And then over here we have the Christmas wreath and then my curtain lights with some more Christmas garland. And then by the island I have hung my stockings. Typically I hang them by the mantle but it was just looking so plain over here like it needed something. And originally I had put that fake present over here but I didn't know where to put this little light show and there's not really much like Christmas lighting over here. So this is what I went with. I typically am moving things around even like on Christmas day. So we'll see if it stays there. Then we have my new gingerbread house. This is my first ever gingerbread house from Hobby Lobby. This was I think $30 and uh, everything was half off. So $15. And I have my apothecary jars with some ornaments in there. And then if you look straight up, we have some Christmas bows on the light pictures. And then on all of the cabinets, I added some ribbon. And then on either side, I have a cookie jar. There's Santa and there's Christmas tree and then a big old bow in the center. And then I didn't know where to put this, and I thought, I might as well put this above the microwave. Baking Santa's favorites since 1851. This side is not so pretty. Um, not much Christmas decoration going on there, except for this popcorn bucket, 
which has all these animals. I will show you in just a moment, but let's move to the coffee bar. I forgot to place my new Christmas mug, so there it is, right there. It's a little Mickey mug. I believe I got it from TJ Maxx as well. And then we have another little tiered tray. This is actually like a Christmas cuppy from Disney World, which was like horribly expensive for what it is. But I don't know, I guess I was desperate for something, anything Christmas from Disney. But there it is. And we have some hot cocoa mix in the back. And a hot cocoa topper. I really wish this topper didn't have like a big old blue great value sticker on there. Oh my gosh. But I love the packaging of this, the little cute thing on the top. And then we have the Christmas popcorn bucket, which is actually musical. There's like you can actually wind the bottom and it sings to you. Really cute. And oh, you can kind of hear it. So there's different scenes and it turns and spins. I thought that was really cool. That's my first and only popcorn bucket. And I love it. When we come down here, we have some Christmas towels. This one says Mrs. Claus, Mr. Claus. Really, really cute. And then the dish towels that I use more often are these. It says Let It Snow. And this one says Joy. And here is that popcorn bucket up close. This thing has been in my family for I don't even know how many years. And this was so like gross and dingy and I cleaned it and I couldn't believe how beautiful it was. That's all of these little puppies and kittens, their stockings, and a big old Christmas tree. So there's that. And this, I couldn't find a place to put it. <laughs> but it happens to be red, so I guess it goes. This is my new popcorn popper from Amazon. All right, let's move on to this wall. This wall was looking so plain, so I knew I needed to do something. And I just had a little bit of extra garland left and I just placed it here as a Christmas tree. It was actually my husband's idea to do the Christmas tree. And uh, yeah, this is what I came up with not crazy about it, but this happens to be his favorite Christmas tree in the whole house. Just, uh, I don't know how to feel about that. So there's that. And then I just have this little Merry Christmas sign hanging. It's glittery. I've had this forever too. I don't even know where that's from. And then on the store handle, I have a little Mickey hanging from there. I guess I will show you guys this sad little Christmas tree first <laughs> before I show you guys the bedroom. This is my only white Christmas tree and I, oh my gosh, the tree star actually stopped working. Of course, right in time for the video. And then we have uh, Mickey here guarding the presents and also please ignore the trash bag over here those are some items to donate anyways back to the tree and in the back i just have this table runner just to cover up the printer <laughs> this is my husband's uh, office by the way now let's move on to the bedroom i didn't decorate too much just a touch of christmas the theme i was going for i guess was gold silver and green. It originally started off with just like champagne gold, but uh, it has evolved. Starting with the bed, I have some dark forest green pillows, black pillows, and this, I don't even know what you call these, these shifty pillows. <laughs> and I have some on this little bench as well. And a blanket, just in case I want to sit here and read. This is my husband's side, and I just have a little gold snowflake right here and here's a cuppy it's great because these cups go with the color theme as well so that is the green one and I have the gold one over there and this is actually the blanket we use we don't use a big comforter we just use uh, one of these plush throws 
and um, it works perfectly for us because it's lightweight but it's so soft and I love it. And then this is my side of the bed and in case you're wondering I use these um, candle lids from Bath and Body Works as coasters. So that is what is holding my cup. And then this is actually a mug warmer and whenever I have my tea or coffee here I just place it on this and it keeps it nice and warm and it's just it's perfect. I think I got this from Walgreens. It was really affordable. Well it was back in the day. I don't know how much it would be now but back then it was no more than like 10-15 dollars. So highly recommend. The top I don't know it's like all the liquids from the past. It's hard to clean off so just a warning but once that your mug is on there you don't see it so and then behind here I have some of my Christmas hand lotions and body spray. I have Vanilla Bean Noel. And then I have this aromatherapy one which I really like. This one is tea tree and peppermint. It's really soothing. And then here I just have some cuticle oil because my hands get really dry during winter. And then here I have the other snowflake. This one was from Michaels. And then my phone charger and watch charger. And then right next to me, I have this beauty. This tree is actually new to the family. I got him from Kohl's and uh, I actually got him on sale. I think originally he was like $300, which is ridiculous for a fake tree. I can't believe it, but yes, um, we got it on like a great sale price and no regrets. And then the Christmas star and some of the ornaments here. These are new as well. Um, they actually came together and they are from Amazon. And I just kept it very simple. Just put some gold and silver uh, picks with some green and gold ornaments I have lying around. These are actually my St. Patrick's Day ornaments. I, I was originally just going to do only gold ornaments, but I could not find my gold ornaments. I could just find my St. Patrick's Day like little bag that I had. So I just went for it. I think it looks nice with the green, but I don't know. I'm curious what all gold would look like. And we got a new tree skirt as well, also from Amazon. They have these gold snowflakes and it's really soft and fluffy. And I have another snowflake here. Um, this is the same as the ones on my nightstands, except this one is silver. And then I have some lanterns with some fake candles. And also with our theme, it's definitely a pine cone theme. I didn't even plan it. Everything just happened to have pine cones in them. And then up here on my dresser, we actually keep the perfumes. So I tried to hide them <laughs> as best as I could with these trees, these little felt trees from Michaels and some artificial candles, more pine cones and this Christmas artwork, very beautiful, from Michaels. And uh, this is how uh, the bedroom decor and bedroom theme got started. I saw this and it was on sale <laughs> and it was really pretty and glittery and uh, I just went with it. And then over here on the double doors, we have these reeds. They are so pretty. I loved the champagne gold. Really, really pretty. This was definitely not the theme I was planning on doing for the bedroom, but like all of the stuff was like matching and on sale, and so uh, I don't regret it. I really like the colored theme. And then over here for this dresser, I actually got these brand new this year. I was trying to find a garland that matched this and they no longer make it. The old garland from last year is that one right there on my floor length mirror. But that one, as you can tell, possibly, through the camera, I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty different from this year's garland. But this was the closest I could get because uh, the tips on all of the garlands like kind of have this lighter green shade. So that was the closest I could get. And then I also got these as well this year from Michaels. And I put them in two vases with some pine cones. 
And then in the center, I have this aromatherapy candle and this candle decor that I actually made with you guys on this channel. Um, it was really cheap. Everything was from Dollar Tree. I think it was like less than five bucks to make this, which was great. I'll just give you a little overview. Alrighty, so that is it for the bedroom. Alrighty, you guys, so that was it for my Christmas house tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will give you another overview with some copyright free music for your enjoyment at the end of this video, so make sure to stay tuned. I do actually have yet another Christmas tree coming in, but unfortunately, that won't arrive until I think like right before Christmas, maybe even like day before Christmas, I'm not sure. But I've been wanting to do a Grinch tree for years now. And I've always wanted to make my husband's office a Grinch theme because I call him the Grinch. So uh, I thought that was perfect. He is very much a Grinch when it comes to Christmas. Um, you know, he's, he's very minimalist when it comes to decorating. Whereas I obviously am not. I want to feel like I live in the North Pole. You know what I mean? So, uh, yes. That tree is coming soon. I did look everywhere for Grinch ornaments and stuff. Everything is sold out right now, which is crazy. Anyways, thought I would mention that. Because if you suddenly see a Christmas tree, a brand new Christmas tree on my uh, TikTok or something, and I didn't mention it in this video, that is why. I will also have a lot of videos up on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube shorts, so make sure to check all of those out. Please subscribe if you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Merry Christmas! Mm -hmm.